Welcome to Everyday Linux User and welcome to the first episode of a new series that I like to call Will It Pi? Now you may remember a few months ago I said I got a new Raspberry Pi 5 I haven't really done a lot with it so I thought it's time let's create a couple more videos to do with the Raspberry Pi I thought one of the things we could do is test all the different Linux distributions that have a Pi offering and in today's video I have got MX Linux running and this MX Linux is running from the Raspberry Pi as you can see by this icon here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a bit about um, how you can install MX Linux to the Raspberry Pi, how well it runs and you'll see um, by the way I click around how well it runs and uh, We'll go from there and see how, how, how well we do. So installing MX Linux to the Raspberry Pi was quite straightforward. Basically you have to search for uh, Raspberry Pi for MX Linux and you'll get to a page on the MX Linux website uh, which is this one and uh, down here you'll see there's a downloadable image from here and so I downloaded this image and then and once you've downloaded the image you can obviously do this on an old PC you don't have to do this on a Raspberry Pi uh, but what you do want is the Raspberry Pi image software so I'm, I'm on the Raspberry Pi at this moment in time but again you can run this from any software and all you do is choose your device so in this case it would come up with uh, Raspberry Pi 5 and then your operating system you would choose um, custom and then you find where you downloaded the file to the MX Linux um, image you you want to unzip it first because it'll come in a zip file and what you want to do is unzip all the files and then just take the um, image file and then after that all you have to do is choose where you're writing it to um, so in this case it would be the Raspberry Pi itself and then then you want to choose where you're writing it to. So if you've got a USB drive, you can write it to a USB drive. If you've got an SSD, you can write it to an SSD, or you can write it to an SD card itself. Um, I always recommend actually running the Raspberry Pi from an SSD. So uh, you can use an external SSD. Um, I'll link one in the description that I'm using. But if you use one of these external SSDs, there's two things that happen. Um, one, it boots faster than the SD card. And two, the SD card, I find with the reading and writing uh, constantly happening, it um, sometimes stutters um, when you're trying to, like you'll open LibreOffice and you'll start typing, it'll suddenly stutter. Uh, whereas if you run it from the SSD, um, you don't get any of that. So it actually boosts your performance by running from an SSD. Now, uh, what you would need to do is go into the Raspberry config settings. Uh, I don't know if we can do this from MX Linux, I assume we can. So you'd go into this screen here, you go to advanced options and you go to boot, load, uh, boot order. And what you want to do is choose um, USB boot before SD card boot. Um, so that way it'll always boot from the USB drive first and then it will go to the SD card if it can't find a USB drive. And uh, then when you plug in your USB drive into the Raspberry Pi, yes you're using one of the four USB ports you've got. And I recommend using the, one of the USB 3 ports for this. Um, what you do is you boot from the USB drive and it should boot into MX Linux. Now there are some installation steps, uh, I'm not going to show you them here, um, but it, it's very simple, it's things like uh, what, what's your username that you want to use, things like that. Um, so it's nowhere near as complicated as a normal installation for um, installing Linux. Uh, the one thing I would say is it's sometimes better to take the SD card out if you're going to boot from the USB drive so that it doesn't accidentally boot into the SD card version. Um, because I've had that happen where it will boot into the SD card even though I've got a USB drive in even though it's supposed to boot from USB first so ultimately uh, once you've installed MX Linux to your Raspberry Pi um, you can see it boots up and the boot time is phenomenal uh, it boots faster than it does on a normal PC uh, obviously depending on your PC I guess but it boots uh, in seconds uh, not minutes or 
not even half a minute. It's it with probably ten seconds, fifteen seconds at max. Uh, so here we are in the Raspberry Pi, and I've already installed the software that allows me to record uh, audio and video. Um, you can see this is a standard Amex Linux there. The main difference being that you've got, one, it's running on an ARM device, so you'll only have applications that can run on an ARM device. Uh, but it, instead of having Firefox, you've got Chromium Web Browser. Um, that's the only real difference, I think, um, between MX Linux and the, uh, on the Raspberry Pi and normal MX Linux. If we look in the applications, under development you've got Genie which is an IDE, under internet you've got Chromium, under multimedia we've got um, VLC media player, uh, obviously simple screen recorder I installed. Uh, you've got the MX tools that you'd get with the normal um, version of MX Linux, under Office you've got LibreOffice but not all of it, you've only got Writer and Maths for some reason, I don't know why LibreOffice calc is, I'll search for that in a minute. Uh, and we've got some settings and system tools. So if I search for LibreOffice, you can see it's only got Writer and Maths installed. When it comes to things like um, hardware support, uh, if I go here, you can see that it is using Wi-Fi, so the Wi-Fi works perfectly well. Uh, we've got Bluetooth, so let's um, plug in a Bluetooth speaker and see if we can get that working. So if I click on Bluetooth here, enable Bluetooth and we'll search and it should find my Bluetooth speaker and it does so I can double click on that. Connecting. And it said success so we'll minimize that and we'll go to Chromium and we'll go to my YouTube channel. As you can see the Raspberry Pi 5 loads quite quickly on um, to the YouTube page. So we'll go to my previous video, um, I tried it so you didn't have to, for Ram Linux. I probably need to change where the output of the speakers is going to, so hold on, I'll go to sound settings. And mystery and meaning and attraction of classic Linux games. The latest stable version is 4MX45. So, as you can tell, that worked perfectly well as well. Um, we can go back into Bluetooth and we can disconnect. Disconnecting. Uh, we can go into printer settings. So I've gone into print settings and you can see it's picked up my printer um, straight away so I don't have to do anything with that. So um, what this is showing is that a Raspberry Pi that cost, I don't know, about 60 uh, UK pounds, um, I, I can link below. Um, you can buy one of these and it's a perfectly usable desktop computer at this point in time. We've got Bluetooth, we've got printing, uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, you can see that the internet was quite responsive. Uh, let's look at uh, LibreOffice, does that work? So that works okay, so uh, you can use LibreOffice on your uh, machine. Now we saw earlier on that it didn't have any uh, of the other LibreOffice packages, so let's go into here and find out what we can do about that. This is the MX Package Manager, so MX Package Installer. And so this is like the um, other MX Linux, the, the main one. Um, you can go through here and install applications you might want to install. For instance, Clementine, you can install that. You could install other browsers. You could have Firefox if you wanted Firefox. Uh, stuff for children, stuff for development. Uh, different docs, there's games, so Supertux. Uh, 
there isn't as much as you'd obviously get for other operating systems uh, like x86 operating systems but there's still a decent amount of software available so I'm going to install Caden Live because I'll need that for editing this video and we can click install I let it run through um, you can see it's process and finished so if I look in here now what did I install I installed Clementine and that loads perfectly well I'm not going to add any music in I haven't got any music on the Raspberry Pi uh, and Caden Live and it'll be interesting to see when I actually produce the video because I'm going to produce it on the Pi how long it takes to do and um, well it does it but, but you can see it loaded pretty well there uh, let's see if flat packs work um, so we're going to go in here so you have to install flat packs So we're going to reboot um, the Raspberry Pi now to um, see if that's worked and I am back already so let's go back into the package installer, go into flat packs, and there's a list of flat packs, will it allow me to um, install the rest of LibreOffice for instance? It will. As you can see, that's now completed successfully. So if we close this down, we should be able to go to LibreOffice. And you can see what wasn't there before is LibreOffice Calc. And if we open that, it's loaded. Now I'm not going to say this is going to be lightning fast as it would on a high end PC, but it will work. And of course you didn't have to install the Flatpak version. You can install it from the enabled repos. You could also install it from uh, the Debian pack ports. Now when it comes to gaming it is possible to install Steam onto the Raspberry Pi 5 but the actual ability to run games not so much. So it's very limited uh, actually it's not really worth doing at all because uh, you can't get the games to, to run at all um, but the Raspberry Pi does have a good emulation um, thing going on so you can install any of the games emulators that were available for previous versions of the Raspberry Pi and in theory you can get anything up to the PlayStation 2 running now, obviously there's some legality uh, issues with running uh, ROMs uh, for uh, older game systems um, but it's up to you whether you choose to do that or not now the Raspberry Pi isn't a gaming machine uh, arguably it's not really supposed to be a desktop computer even though this video is showing that MX Linux works just as well on the Raspberry Pi as it does on a normal PC so to summarize I think uh, MX Linux is great on the Raspberry Pi it's actually better than Raspberry Pi OS uh, it comes with a reasonable set of applications to start with without a complete set um, but the fact is the package manager is decent enough that you can find what you're looking for uh, the applications that do run on the Raspberry Pi are working perfectly well LibreOffice is working fine the audio package is working fine um, the video editor I believe will work fine I'm gonna find that out um, and if, if it doesn't then I will tag it on to the end of the video that the editor actually f doesn't work fine um, so um, that's really the end of the review so if you've got a Raspberry Pi 5 MX Linux is a good option to put onto it um, as I said before though use a um, SSD um, an external USB version of an SSD and that will give you a far better performance than, SS than a normal SD card would uh, the normal SD card I find is not a good method for booting your operating systems from and uh, that's the end of the review if you liked it give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next time on everyday linux user